All right, so now we're going into the po the advanced uh, basis task. We've done all the post installation stuff. We've created the user, uh, maintained the profiles, the TMS, kernel updates, ICM, you know, uh, we've run the SGEN. So all the basic stuff is done. You're ready to use your system, but now we're going to do the advanced stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is update spam and uh, set up the SAP car for extraction. So um, you can either download SAPCAR or we can just do a search over here, sapcar.exe, and copy this SAPCAR into an environmental variable uh, folder such as Windows. So this will help us in extracting um, stuff without uh, going and putting the SAPCAR into a folder all the time. So just copy it into System32. I'm going to paste it. Control C copy and I'm going to paste it into Windows System 32. So the, the advantage is you don't have to copy this into every folder. You just paste it here and uh, and uh, and when you run CMD from a path SAPCR you can see that extraction stuff happens. So you don't have to copy SAPCAR into everything you're extracting all the time. So that's the first thing. Second thing is we're going to update our spam to the latest version. This is very important because some of the new patches uh, you can't uh, install patch without uh, upgrading spam. So we're going to log into 000. Okay, DDIC, uh, SAP password and going to update spam. So before we update spam, we have to download the spam. So we're going to go into our service.sap website. Oops, I'm going to uh, minimize since you're running on uh, and go into our root system. Okay, I'm going to minimize this and uh, go into our root system. Okay. and you go into support packs and patches click browse download catalog okay over here you look you click on additional components okay so this is where all the uh, components are kept so uh, if you want to upgrade your kernel some of the easier easier things like kernels and stuff you can upgrade from here and uh, for example this is just an example we're not doing it because our kernel is already updated you can see um, the 8.4 is a HANA kernel. 7.42 is the version that we used in our in our upgrade. So you can find that directly under additional components. For this thing, we're going to just update SAP uh, uh, spam, Saint update. You can see, like I said before, instead of copying, you can actually download the latest version of SAP car as well. But we just copied it from the uh, the binaries provided by SAP. So just go into SAP. I'm, we are using 740 click on 740 support packages and we're going to get the latest version 56 okay just download that okay so it's uh, 16 seconds left all right so we just go into our downloads folder Okay, I'm going to copy this into our C drive. I'm going to paste it here. And now we're going to go into our spam saint. Okay, support pack manager. Ours is a version 50. So now we're going to upgrade this. Load import spam saint update. Click on that. Oh, before that, we have to load packages from application. It's not even on the application server from front end server. This PC navigate to C drive where we saved us. So okay, we're going to decompress and it's going to copy it. So successfully loaded. Now we're going to go support imports. Okay, so you can see it's being imported. 
So now the process is going on and we wait for it to finish. Okay, uh, this uh, main import is going on usually uh, just to keep, just to make sure that everything is going according to plan. What you do is going to use a SAP transport temp and you can refresh here just to see if anything is happening. And the other thing to do is the log file. So these are the things that will give you an update as to what's happening. And you can refresh this and see the activity of what's at without going into the SAP's monitoring phases you can just quickly see the, uh, the actual import was about 7 megabytes so you can see so it looks like uh, it's progressing so we'll see what phase the execution of reports so the actual import has been done so uh, it's a good idea to keep track and also if you want to see a quick view of the logs if something goes wrong you can just open it up here instead of doing a trace from the main screen Okay. Okay, so the spam has been imported. It's telling us to restart the page. Okay, so I go into slash NSEAM and you should see it's 56. That's the latest version that's available. And it says valid maintenance certificate was found. So that's it guys so that is the thing so we have to in, we uh, uh, the two things that we did was uh, uh, we imported SAP CAR oops SAP CAR this is the extraction tool so every time you need to extract something we'll be we'll be extracting personas and BI content and uh, Fiori so you don't have to copy SAPCAR into the folder you're extracting all the time so that's one of the things and the second thing we did was updated spam both are needed for the next stage of our of our process so that's it so I'll see you in the next video